So, I think there's been quite a lot here already, and uh, well, uh, maybe, maybe they encouraged a few who said they would come to come if they're not here. But thanks everybody for, for coming here tonight to hear three of the authors of our new book, Capitalism, Crisis and Alternatives. It's, it's Sean Thompson, Susan Pashkoff, and Oslem. Um, Oslem on the hand. But uh, before we. Uh, before we uh, uh, for years, I just wanted to make a few announcements about things that are happening so that people can uh, sit down and get a chair and so on and welcome them back. So anyway, um, in terms of uh, things that are happening for people to put in their diaries and to help out and so on, um, uh, well, next Thursday there's a, uh, another strike uh, called by public sector unions uh, continuing their campaign uh, around uh, defending pension rights in the public sector and obviously public services uh, and in particular this time is going to be PCS, Civil Service Union, uh, half a quarter of a million people coming out, quarter of a million members hopefully coming out on strike. Um, uh, uh, the uh, lecturers in certain, in certain universities uh, will be coming out as well as a few tens of thousands. Um, I forgot the other union which is just coming out. Um, it's the, it's, oh yes, Unite in the Health Service. Um, and there's supposed to be a demonstration, I'm not quite sure if it's been finally confirmed, but Unite are calling for a demonstration on, um, on the Thursday at noon, 12 noon from St. Thomas's Hospital for a rally at, at Central Hall, Westminster. So if you're not working or if you're on strike, uh, come and help out um, the Coalition of Resistance, which is a national campaign against the cuts, which social resistance supports. We'll be there helping to build it and um, you know, join us uh, and join the unions on that day. Um, incidentally, UNITE and, and, um, and UNISON and the Coalition of Resistance are, are each separately and independently, but certainly Coalition of Resistance and UNITE together are, are calling um, for a national demonstration, a big national demonstration in the autumn against cuts and against austerity. So uh, watch this space. Um, Saturday the 12th of May, it's uh, 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 Nakba Day in Palestine, commemoration of, uh, of uh, uh, the expulsion of Palestinians uh, from their lands. Um, something at 12 noon called by the Palestine Solidarity Campaign outside Downing Street. Um, and uh, obviously linked to that, uh, the war is going on, um, the war in Afghanistan, uh, possibility of war against Iran and so on. So. Uh, Saturday the 19th of May, I've got some postcards here, um, protest outside the US Embassy, don't attack Iran, troops out of Afghanistan, no intervention in the Middle East, uh, you can see that back there's a picture of Iran with all the US bases around it, <laughs> and um, on, on Friday, I think it's a Friday the 25th of May, um, I'm pretty sure the 25th is a Friday, anyway it's the 25th of May, a benefit of songs and words and music uh, for the Stop the War Coalition with Roy Bailey, Brian Eno, uh, Roger Lloyd, Park, Pat, Cat Phillips, Peter Kennard, loads more. So, those cards here. Um, right, oh yes, and our, next, and our next socialist resistance meeting, public meeting, is, is on in June. Um, uh, well, I'll find it in my tire, I forgot the date now. Uh, yes, Wednesday the 30th of May, Wednesday the 30th of May in this room, it's on Scotland, uh, because obviously there's a referendum, there's a whole issue around uh, how socialists should vote, why socialists should support independence, uh, what attitude to take in the referendum, and we've got two speakers, one is Gregor Gall, who's from the Scottish Socialist Party, who teaches at uh, Hertfordshire University, and he's written um, a book uh, on the political economy of Scotland, Red Scotland and Radical Scotland and a political biography of Tommy Sheridan. So um, uh, the main purpose of the meeting is about Scottish independence and the referendum. <laughs> so, but obviously, obviously I'm sure people want to know about the left in Scotland and, and where it's going. Um, but, um, so there, there we are. So anyway, um, just, just a few comments of introduction on the book itself, which I helped edit with Oslem, and um, uh, we started it, what, what, 18 months ago, and it's, it's um, when we're not professional, full-time uh, editors, uh, let alone designers of books, it does take a long time, and when it came out, we were a bit worried that it might be not as fresh 
uh, uh, not as relevant uh, because things move. Um, but in fact, actually, um, looking at the book again now and looking at the political situation, things have not moved that much. And the book itself looks at uh, uh, the political economic the economic crisis in Europe uh, and uh, implications and how it has affected uh, in China and in Latin America. Uh, and the question of the debt with uh, a long interview with uh, Eric Toussaint. Uh, but the first, uh, first paragraph in, in, uh, in Michel Husson's book, uh, chapter, which is uh, Where is the Crisis Going, says, three years after the outbreak of the crisis, one thing is certain. We're a long way from seeing its end. Capitalism has undergone a shock which calls into question its neoliberal form and more profoundly its essential logic. To count on its self-reform is an illusion because capitalism has no alternative other than to seek the recreation of its previous conditions of functioning, even when this is an impossible task. Nevertheless, capitalism will seek to get out of this impasse by conducting a very violent antisocial offensive, which it has already started to do. And I think, you know, all the things which have happened in the last uh, year confirm that, and the bank, general background in terms of the economic crisis is still is absolutely relevant. And all the speculation which is going around now about you know, going into recession, a, a little upturn, are uh, the, 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 uh, the statistics are actually minuscule in terms of indicating a shift. For example, um, uh, the, uh, the economy shrank by 0.2%, which now technically makes it in a recession. 0.2% when uh, people, you know, economists were hoping for a growth of one and a half or two percent or something like that. Uh, just a point, uh, one tenth of a percentage point uh, uh, throws it back into recession and throws uh, uh, Osborne and Cameron back on the defensive, saying uh, and admitting actually that the euro crisis would actually now take several years to overcome, dampening expectations that the crisis. Is actually about to to they're about to come out of uh, recession because they've been able to uh, uh, get rid of the debt. All the questions which are in here, which you know, have been written 18 months ago, around for example the debt, um, uh, uh, are now taking a more popular way, cancelling having an audit of the debt and cancelling the debt. Um, the issues which are alluded to in here about the shock doctrine in terms of uh, the ruling class using uh, a significant event. Uh, to scare people into uh, accepting uh, worse conditions or imposing worse conditions, uh, those things are, 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 are still relevant, especially as um, if we hear people on the left, some people on the left, um, who I would describe in a, in a nice way as Keynesian, uh, who believe that we can get out of the, out of the crisis by growth, simply by growth through investment, they express their, I've heard these people, have express their amazement at the continuing lack of investment for growth by the capitalist system. So, you know, this is, this is a suicide. Why don't they do it? Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, I think uh, it becomes a political question because uh, the person who I heard that from was quoted also Warren Buffett, one of the richest persons in the world, admitting that you know, this is a class war that we're going through now. And my class, Warren Buffett was saying, my class is winning. Uh, and he's right, you know, what's happening now is uh, uh, the shock therapy of austerity, cuts and so on, is being used to shift wealth from uh, poor people to rich people. Um, statistics last week uh, showed that the, in Britain, I think it was, the top 1% increased their wealth by 5%, while the, the rest, their wealth dropped by 2%. Uh, in the last budget, they talked about having, um, having um, regional pay. Presumably, you know, the government would, 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 would say that is to, um, uh, you know, to, to save on, 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 the, on the pay bill. But uh, regional pay, uh, piloted in the, in the civil service, uh, is directly used to attack uh, uh, national bargaining, i.e. The, the national unions, and in particular the PCS, which is, uh, which is one of the more militant unions that have been able to organise actions, as I mentioned before. So, um, uh, and then there's a question of some people arguing that uh, you know, the way to get out is growth through investment. Um, and uh, even though these people are socialists, admit that they accept that there's an ecological crisis, they still uh, uh, accept a certain logic of 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 of, um, uh, of development of industrial development within uh, within the current framework. Well, I think you know the, the, we think that the crisis is so deep and so fundamental. It's not just a challenge to neoliberalism; it's a challenge to the capitalist system in the context of an ecological crisis. And we can't just repeat, uh, you know, things that Marxists and communists said 60 or 70 years ago about 
uh, uh, growth through investment and so on. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. And I think it's all out who's going to speak first, actually. Osdem's going to speak I'm first, sure. Sean, and then Susan. Right. Okay. Yeah. So these are some questions for us to think about. And I'm not challenged this order. Right. <laughs> uh, as Fred has said, we have written the book quite a while ago. Uh, and the, the thing that has really changed are the numbers, and they changed for the worse. So uh, we will do a bit of a revision now uh, to our 